She was beautiful and she was dangerous. Well, maybe not so dangerous, but at least enough for the FBI to want to spend 10 years trying to catch Anna Kunchenko and her cronies. In a surveillance video released Monday by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the spy can be seen working to get a foothold into American society by hobnobbing with consulate officials, infiltrating posh parties, and using her charms as opposed to her wits. After watching Kunchenko along with 10 other Russian agents for over 10 years, U.S. authorities were led to move in and arrest all members of the spy network because of one video. It was a recording of a drop with FBI agents posing as Russian consulate employees who met with Chapman Kushenko at a New York coffee shop in June of 2010. There, Kushenko makes her drop, though unknowingly, on camera. It may have been the end of the government sting operation, but the incident spooked the Russian, and U.S. agents swooped in and busted the entire gang. Spy videos show other FBI evidence. A brush pass at a train station, picking up items in Virginia New York, a seemingly innocent walk at Columbus Circle in New York. No classified information was ever stolen. Femme fatale Anna Chapman was arrested, but the scenario may not be worthy of a John le Carre Hollywood spy thriller. The Russian agents were so dumb, or the FBI so smart, that they came to believe the U.S. government agents were actually their handlers. After a U.S.-Russia spy exchange, Anna Kushenko ended up back in Moscow, a lingerie model and corporate spokeswoman. She represents a new breed of Russian spies adapted to the post-Cold War world. From the Christian Post newsroom, I'm George J. Weinberg.